All right, in this video, I just want to detail out a new brushless micro build that I've put together. Uh, in the past, I haven't really shared too many details on my brushless builds because I've been using the uh, this prototype Alien Wii flight controller that included uh, integrated power distribution. And on a micro build, the integrated power distribution really makes things much simpler. You can see I have one here that uh, I actually added a Pololu for 5 volt output. But uh, now it's become possible, there's a new flight controller I found that uh, actually has integrated power distribution and it's readily available and it's called the FPV Pico BLX. This is from Furious FPV. I just picked one up recently and uh, really allowed for an extremely simple, clean build. And I'm really loving the way this thing's flying. Uh, you can see here I have the Spectrum SAT RX. I removed the, the JST connectors from the flight controller and the uh, receiver here so that I can get a real nice low profile build. Just used some thin wires and soldered those together. Um, still have full access to the 5 volt. It supposedly has clean 5 volt output. Right here I can just uh, tap right into that nice and easy even with the SAT in, uh, installed. I'm running some uh, 10 amp Extreme Series ESCs and uh, 1105 RCX motors. These are the 4000 kV. They also have a 5000 kV though. Not really sure that they would be the best idea for 3S, especially when using these props. Now I'm running the HQ3030 props. It seems a lot of people are using the, the 3020 props that originally came out with the 1104 motors and since I tried these uh, 3030 props, I've really not gone back or have any interest in going back. I really like these props. Uh, the one thing to note though is they are a little over 3 inch so some frames might not be able to accommodate them. I actually increased the size of uh, the original 130 and 140 frames to 135 and 145 so that these guys would clear the uh, top plate if it was used. See here I didn't end up installing anything over it but uh, ends up with an extremely low profile build with this new board. Uh, hooks right up to clean flight. Um, really didn't, I'm actually flying stock settings. Um, this thing's flying real great. I'm going to go out and do a demo on 3S, 2S. Um, yeah, I don't really think there's a whole lot more to say about it. I'll put some links in the uh, description below for where these components are available. That's approximately a $150 build, the way I have it configured right now for reference. Okay, and as you'll see here, frame is about 52 grams, just a touch over 52 grams. And uh, either of these, uh, I have a 450 milliamp hour uh, 3S pack. We end up at about 94 grams. And with a, a 2S, I think this is a 450 as well, it's about 80.5 grams. Okay, now I'm going to show some of the clean flight settings I'm using. Alright, I'm just going to start out with the 2S pack here. Plenty capable, but not nearly as fast.
So keep in mind that's two S, folks. So now I'm going to run it on 3S. 